Next orgy going on. <laughs> Who's looking to get discovered by the next porn? Porn director. That's what I'm Homosexual porn. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of y'all? <laughs> I got a good scripture to read, boy. You got something you want to read? Yeah. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You want me to read it? Go ahead, bro. All right, all right. I got it. I like, I like reading. Psalm 78 and 1. Give ear, O oh my people, to my law. <laughs> Incline your ears to the word of my mouth. Who's the mouth? Not the actual rule. We use the mouth and his mouth. So we are here on the highways of Bible is pushing the word. So give ear to it. So I, uh, I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old. Ooh. So that's what we're doing. Yep. People can't understand what we're saying because they can't understand parables. They're retarded. Let me get, let me get that. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I know what you're getting. Which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children, showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he has done. For he has established a testimony in Jacob. He said, he said he established a testimony in Jacob. He didn't say he, he uh, established a testimony with Japheth and with Ham and with Esau. Esau. He didn't say that. Esau. He didn't say he established a testimony with Gentiles, with heathens. Okay, the Lord ain't dealing with heathens. The Lord's only dealing with Israel. For he had established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. So you're supposed to teach this Bible to your children. You're not supposed to be teaching your children uh, the theory of evolution, okay? Because that's not even science anyway. That's just a, that, that's just, that's a religion created by eugenicists, okay? That's, that's what uh, evolution is. Evolution's a religion created by eugenicists. Some shit they can't even prove. These motherfuckers ain't gonna teach their kids anyway when they got an Xbox thrown in front of their kid and the Xbox teacher. Yeah, the Xbox best teacher. Xbox, PlayStation, you know. Now they coming out with a new video. I mean, the video games just keep coming out constantly. Yep. New video games, like the old one that got paid out. Man, it was, they coming out with a new Wii. They don't need a goddamn new Wii. <laughs> they don't need, no, like, that's, but they don't need no new systems. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> Ain't hey, nobody's even interested in the new shit no more anyway. Back in the day, when the new Xbox, I would not fuck the Xbox. That's garbage. Back in the day, when a new Nintendo, or the new PlayStation would come out, there'd be lines around the damn store. Before the store open. Yeah, but people don't even give a. That's why this place is about to be destroyed. They don't even. Care. They actually be out there in their sleeping bags and shit. Yeah, can't nobody afford that new shit no more. You know we got no money for that new shit. I got a goddamn job to buy this shit. Let me read this though. Uh, yeah, because you ain't supposed to be wasting your time playing video games. You're supposed to be studying the scriptures, man. And yeah, that's why you're supposed to teach the Bible to your children. You're supposed to make your children read the Bible. You know what I'm saying? 
You gotta, you gotta make your children read the Bible. You gotta make it interesting for them you too. You gotta sit them down and read the whole damn Bible. Just give yeah. them a, few, a couple chapters, a few chapters. And, read every day. And it's not like a chore. You gotta make it interesting. You can't, you know, just force it on like like a demon. Well, you do force it on them actually. Yeah, you gotta make them. Yeah, you gotta make them. <laughs> well, the Bible is interesting though. That's all I'm saying. It's not like it's not a chore. Where that is a scripture in the book of John that says it's not, it's a labor of love. What does it say? It says uh, that we do not abhor keeping the laws. We enjoy keeping the laws. I mean, it's, it's fun to read the scripture. It's fun to break down the scripture. That's why the scripture said we're going to utter a parable and a dark saying. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. And we enjoy doing that. We enjoy speaking parables and dark sayings that people can't understand. We ain't out here for the motherfuckers anyway. We're out here for the So they can I do. You want to back up the Bible? See? Right. Hell no. Of course it's not. I got, a, I got this. Oh, go ahead. Uh, oh, yeah, because we said we was going to utter uh, a parable in a dark saying, right? Go ahead, read yeah, it. This is Matthew 13 and uh, start at 9. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Yeah, that's why people always ask us. They, I, how can you just can't speak in normal English? Go ahead. He answered and said unto them, He is the Yahweh Shai, the Lord, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Yeah, so only the elect was chosen to receive the knowledge to begin with. So the knowledge ain't for everybody. Because if y'all didn't know, like, not everybody's, most people are stupid, okay? Most people are stupid and they can't retain any kind of knowledge of truth because they're retarded. <laughs> so the Lord only got a, a, a few chosen people he set up to receive his knowledge. It's like in a book of, the book of what, Second Ezra says, few shall be saved. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna get that too. I'm gonna get this other one. Okay, where are you getting that? I'm gonna read this. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel but she commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. So we're going to teach our children these parables and all the, all the mysteries of the Bible. Okay, we're going to teach that to our children. We're going to teach them the laws and the mysteries. You're not going to uh, teach them Moabite or Hamite? Hell no. I'll teach them how to be a slave. Go ahead. Teach them how to be a better heathen. Second Corinthians 4 and 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Yeah, that's because of the, the, the truth of the Bible, that's hidden to some people. You know what I'm saying? Because they pick up the Bible and read it and they can't understand it. They try to break the scripture down, they mess the scriptures up. Books of the scriptures are people. People trying to say Cornelius was a Gentile and all kind of madness. Yeah, then they're going to talk about a virgin birth. They're gonna tell you when you die, you go to heaven or hell. And so they teach all kind of bullshit. And they err not knowing the scriptures. Go ahead. In whom the power of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. So who's the who, who's the God of this world? Who's the God of America? You know the God of America is Satan. Satan, the devil. The devil and Satan, that's the God of America. That the spirit of Satan is on America. When you see people white ladies, look, they look like little demons. They got, they look like a bunch of little devils running around. When you start reading the scriptures, they, they start laughing. They, you know what I'm saying? They act like it's evil to read the Bible. So you read the Bible? The Bible? So you read the Bible? Bible? Yeah. You read what? Did you read it? Words of the devil? See? That's what I'm saying, man. And it's the spirit of Satan is on America. That's all I can say. It's the spirit of the damn devil, man. Second Corinthians 4 and 3. And that's what it says to read it. It says it clear as day. But if our gospel be here, it is here to them that are lost. And most people are surely lost. You know, they're lost. They're goners. There's no hope for most people. Look at these fools, man. This is bad. This is fun. I hate these people. In whom the power of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Yeah, because a lot of a lot of people don't believe in the Bible. Okay.
okay? They'll say the Bible's a fairy tale. They'll say it's a book of lies. Keep going. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. So, so the, the Bible's a light. It's a glorious light. Let me keep on going with this. Yeah, that's, that's nice, man. Is this, this truth is a glorious light, and we're going to shine. That's right. Just like that book, uh, just like Matthew, the fifth chapter, it says, if you got that light, you got to take that light and put it on top of a hill. <laughs> you know what I mean? can see. Right. Uh, a lighthouse, man. You can see a lighthouse. Whew, miles off, man. Yep, that's why we're like a lighthouse of truth. The scriptures say that we're the children of light, okay? We're the illuminated ones. That's what we are. All right, go ahead. Okay. For we preach not ourselves. So yeah, that's we're not preaching ourselves. We're preaching uh, Yahweh Shai. You going? That's right. But Yahweh Shai, the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, yeah, for Yahweh Shai's sake. Yeah, because we're doing this for the Lord's sake. We ain't doing it for our sake. We ain't coming out here making shit up. Talking about we got the secret book of the lost book of the the Bible. We got the, the <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got the lost scrolls. We know where the Stargate we, we, is. We're using the Bible, man. We use coming out the Bible, and we're reading what the Bible says, and we're telling you exactly what the Bible says, word for word. That's right. Ain't deviating from it. Yeah, we ain't deviating. Yeah, we gonna walk in that straight line. It's like we walk in that tightrope. That difficult. Man. Yeah, we walk in that tightrope. Go ahead. This ain't easy. Okay. Uh, for the Most High, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts. Oh yeah, because the Lord shined in our hearts. Which is symbolic of our mind. Yeah, your mind, your soul, your spirit, you know? Yeah. That's, all, that's the only way you can get the truth. The Lord got to reveal it to you. And you got to see the truth in the spirit. If the Lord doesn't show you the truth in the spirit, you're never going to get it. it the, the truth is not something you can get from studying. And the scriptures do say to study. It says study to show thyself approved. But that's not how you get the truth. The Lord has to reveal the truth to you in the spirit. That's right. Open your mind up to it. That's right. And that's something, you know, that's something in the spirit. That's something you can't escape. It's just like read this to somebody. You open their mind up to it, but then it's up to them whether they're going to receive it. Nah. Yep. Nah, I don't want to hear that shit. That's what they call it shit. That's because the Lord didn't reveal that truth to them. You know right. what I mean? That's right. Uh, to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of the Most High in the face of your Shai. But we have the treasure in earthen vessels, vessels that the excellency of the power may be of the Most High and not of us. Yeah, so we, all of our power comes from the Most High. Damn, this is for me, man. I guess this is meant for me. Uh, so, me feel good, that's, man. Yeah, that's a fire, fire Yeah, check it out. We are troubled on every side. Yeah, we're truck. We yeah, we get no rest. Now we continuously complain to neighbor. All the time. We ain't just complaining to enjoy. We enjoy. It. Yeah, damn baby mamas with fucking hoe. You know what I'm saying? Right. We complain because we our, our minds been opened up to the wickedness of this motherfucking world. Yeah, if you can't see the wickedness of this world, you're blind, man. You're a part of the wickedness. Yeah, if you ain't if you ain't speaking out against the wickedness, that means you're wicked. That's right. Troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Say so, yeah, because we're not we're not distressed. We ain't despair because we know. First of all, we know this. We have the truth, and we know that this ain't our kingdom anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because the scriptures say, first the kingdom is inside of you. Go ahead. So, it's a gift to have this truth, man. I'd rather have this truth than to have, be rich, be a superstar. Be a famous actor, you know what I mean? Got 50 bitches. I'd much rather have the truth. Yeah. You can't offer me anything this world, man. I don't want shit in this world. Fuck yeah, me. I mean, yeah, the riches ain't shit, man. You know? The book of James says your gold is, you, yeah, yeah, your gold is canker. <laughs> Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Yeah, persecuted, consumed, well, they're gonna just, what the whole goal is, they want to outlaw the Bible, period. They're trying to say, oh, the Bible's outdated. That's why they're not allowed to have Bibles in the school. You know, I remember when I was going to school, like the third, the third grade, fourth grade, they was teaching me about Zeus. They taught me about Hades, about Persephone. 
But they ain't never mentioned the Exodus. They ain't never once mentioned Moses. For centuries, ain't that But they gonna get, oh, that bitch that got married to Haiti, right. whatever. Man, they, so they taught us about all these Greek gods and goddesses in high school, I mean, excuse me, elementary school, when I was just a young child, but never once did they mention a, a story in the Bible. That's good, man, it's just, it's the kingdom of Satan, man. That's all there is to it. Because the Bible specifically speaks out against those guys that was teaching me about when I was a little child. They a bunch of faggots and freaks, man. Men dressing like women. Women dressing. Women ain't even dressing. They just naked. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? You're half damn naked. If I see a half naked woman walking down the street, what do you think I want to do? Well, I mean, there's only one. I'm mean, when a woman's walking around half naked. She's just telling you that she's just a piece of meat. That's all she's saying. It's the only thing she's good for is just a piece of ass. Otherwise, I mean, I mean, she she doesn't care about herself. If bitch had any kind of self-respect, she would cover her ass up. I'll go ahead. Okay. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Yahweh Shai, that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifested in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahweh Shai's sake. Yeah. So so. Yeah, you might die teaching the truth. We might come out here, yeah, you, you can drop you that shot doing this. Shot up. It's all good though, because I, I would much rather get shot teaching the word than doing it something else. You know? But that's not probably not gonna happen anyway. Because the Lord, he gonna protect us. I was just saying, we, we don't give a damn. You can shoot us, you can kill us, you can stone us, you can blow us up. We don't give a damn, we still gonna do the work. We, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna reject the word of the Most High. I'm afraid it would've happened to you. Exactly. Yeah, you, you can chop our heads off. We don't give a damn. Why, why that guillotine's coming down and chopping our head off? We, we hitting you with scriptures until our death. We gonna we hit your ass with a scripture right before you chop our head off. Like, just like uh, Charles the First, King James' son. Them devils chopped his head off. Right before they chopped his head off, he hit him with a scripture. Now, go ahead. That the life also of your Howard Shai might be made manifested in our mortal flesh. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. Yeah, so, yeah. When the life is the truth, okay, that's that's life. Like uh, John 14 and 6 said, Yahweh Shai said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the life. So say this word is the everlasting life. Death. So we ain't worried about a physical death, man. Because through the scriptures, we're reborn anyway. Right. We have in the same spirit of faith, according as it is, as it is written, I believe, and therefore have I spoken, we also believe, and therefore speak. Oh yeah, that's, that's the why we are here speaking, because we believe. We're not here speaking because we don't believe. Go ahead. Knowing that he which raised up the Lord Yahweh Shai shall, shall raise up us also by Yahweh Shai and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sake, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many rebound to the glory of the Most High. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed up, day by day. Man, read that again, man. That little demon came through messing the scriptures up. <laughs> I hate it when people do that, man. He get damn, he get half a mile down the street and caught. You wanna say something? Yeah. Well, all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many rebound to the glory of the Most High. Rebound to the glory of the Most High. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish. Yeah, the, yeah, even though we grow old, our, our teeth might fall out, our, you know what I'm saying, knees go out, 
pack go out, you slip a disc, you feeling all fucked up, you're getting old, you know what I'm saying? You're withering like a like a leaf. Keep going. Yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Yeah, so it's like this. It's like every day, it's like I feel like I'm getting younger every day. I'm learning more every day. Like every day I feel, you should feel like a new, if you're into the truth and you, you know, you're studying the scriptures and studying this truth period, every day you're going to feel, like, feel like you was a better man than you was the day before. You see what I'm saying? Yep. Like every day you feel like you're on a higher level than you was the day before. But even though why, why in your mind and your spirit's getting stronger, your fleshly body's getting weaker. You see what I'm saying? For our light affliction, because this is a shit compared to what we're going to hear in the kingdom. Right. For our yeah, cause, light affliction. Yeah, because we feel we got, we got the spirit, we got youthful spirits, you know what I mean? Right. But our bodies are weak. He beat down. You know? Which is but for a moment, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Yeah, like one thing that can't be seen right now, at least not with your physical eyes, is the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> You gotta see that in the spirit. And we see that through our mind, you know, right through the spirit. That's what that's we talking can, we about. We can actually read this and we can actually invent this. You, you, you have to see things with your spiritual eyes. Because mm -hmm. most people, that they don't believe something unless they can physically see it right, right here in this the physical dimension that we're in. Because with this, this existence we're in, this is only one dimension. It has many dimensions, you know what I mean? This is what, what we can actually see, feel, and touch is only a... a it's only a, a small fraction of what it is actually is. I can't even explain that. Right, though. Right, though. This is like shit. This is nothing. So that's why you gotta... That's why the Lord gotta reveal things to you in the spirit. You gotta see with your spiritual eyes. Okay, I gotta go to scripture. Ephesians 6 and 13. Wherefore take, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Yeah, so the whole armor, that means the whole truth. That means you got you can't, that means you gotta be teaching 100% truth. Now keep going, that's right. That, that's the scriptures right here, man, the way we're teaching it. Keep going. That ye may be able to withstand the evil day and having done all to stand. Yeah, so that evil day, that's coming real soon. What's that evil day talking about? Well, right now that evil day is talking about World War III. Like every week we come out here and tell you America's about to go to war with Iran. We be telling you that every week. And we might sound like a broken record, but guess what? Them missiles is coming, man. That war is coming. Trust me, it's coming. Though it tarry, wait for it. It shall surely come. <laughs> it it and that war ain't gonna tarry much more longer. As soon as this election is all wrapped up and over with, the bombs is dropping, the, missile, the missiles is launching. Just wait. You'll see, you'll see. You'll see. They fighting Syria right now. And the, them Jews over there in the state of Israel, they scared to death. They know, they know it's coming more than anybody because they, they, they know that they're in, the, uh, they're in the sights of the Iranians. The Iranians are going to shoot missiles on them Jews. You see, the, uh, you see the Iran had gave Hezbollah that drone to yep. send it to it sent it to Israel to show that Israel is vulnerable as fuck. Yeah, because them, Isra them Israelis, a bunch of fake Jews, a bunch of devils. Kazars. Kazars. But they're scared to death, okay? So they know this war is coming. Okay, so this war it's is coming. coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> so go ahead, just enjoy your last few months of happiness you have. Cause soon y'all y'all about it's about to be real dark out here. It's about to be real gloomy. Dark and gloomy. Thick clouds. <laughs> Ain't got much time left, man. Laugh it up. Your little ordinary, your little everyday way of life, man. It's about to be put to an end, man. Mm. It's gonna be put to an end. Oh, go ahead. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. That's what we're doing. The breastplate of righteousness is Yahweh shod. Keep going. And your feet shod with the 
preparations of the gospel of peace. Above God. all. Yeah, the gospel of peace. Oh, Islam, they try to say Islam means, what is that? They try to say Islam's the religion of peace. Mm. But that's the religion of death and the religion of heathens. Mm. First of all, we don't have a religion, okay? All we have is truth. We have peace. The scriptures is peace. Oh, go ahead. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Oh, this, yeah, the shield of faith, that's the truth of scripture. That's your house shot. Keep going. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can break that down on a number of, on a number of right. you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of ways you can break that scripture down. But was, some of them fiery darts when people come up here, they'll be like, King James was a faggot. They'll be like, Jesus was gay. They always want to say everybody in the Bible is gay. That's like a popular thing. You, you know, I want, these motherfuckers, man, these bunch of damn devils. <laughs> Go ahead. They take the helmet off of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the most high, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. In the spirit. And watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints and for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mysteries of the gospel. So that's what we out here to do. We're going to like we started earlier when, I when we first started this video, I believe we was talking about we was going to utter, that's how the spirit tied things together. We was going to utter a dark parable. Well, we was going to utter a dark saying. We was going to speak a parable. You know what I'm saying? What's a, a parable is a mysterious thing. So we're going, to, we're going to reveal mysteries to people. Like it seems to be one of the biggest mysteries is that the Lord only came for the Israelites and then the Israelites are scattered among all nations. That seems to be a mystery. Uh, nobody knows this. No, nobody knows that the Lord only came for Israel. That's a big mystery. Yeah, that's a mystery. Yeah. You know, how is a mystery when Israel's all group It's all because people don't read the Bible. They don't care about the Bible. They're a bunch of heathens. Very poor comprehension skills. Yeah, they lack basic reading and comprehension skills. <laughs> I would have cheeks to read. You're like four foot tall. To make known the mysteries of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in bonds. Yep. That therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. So we every time we speak this, we come out and teach the Bible, we speak in all boldness. We ain't gonna give a damn what anybody has to say. If a uh, if some dumbass bitch come up running her mouth, we just gonna curse her out. You know what I'm saying? If some big six foot ten stupid looking motherfucker comes up, we're gonna curse him out. <laughs> Doesn't matter. If anybody comes up running their mouth, we're gonna curse him out in all boldness, man. Right, he ain't gonna put you do that for I got hold on, I got a, I got hold on, I got a scripture to back you up real quick. Hold that, hold up. He said all uh, oh, boldness. I got one of boldness, bro. Boldness. Uh Psalms three and six. I would not be afraid of ten thousands of people. That have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Salah. <laughs> so I just had to throw that in there. Because the scripture said. We're going to speak in all boldness, and we ain't going to be afraid of tens, tens of thousands of people. So you can come out here with the damn National Guard, and we ain't going to give a damn. We still going to teach the truth. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to go to 2 Corinthians 11 and 3. 11 and 4. Let me, no, 3. And but we, I fear lest by any means as the serpent be well e through, sub, through subtlety, so your mind should be corrupt from the simplicity that is in your house shy. Yeah, because really the truth is simple. You know what I'm saying? For if he that cometh preaching another Jesus. So uh, yeah, all these all these fake ass preachers in these churches, they preaching about another Jesus. They teaching you about a Jesus that ain't in the Bible. Okay. Whom we 
have not preached. And we ain't preaching that homosexual shit, that homosexual Caesar Bolger Jesus. That's not the Jesus we're teaching. The mainstream. We're it's teaching the real Avenue. Jesus. Whose real name is Yahweh Shah? That's what we're teaching. Cause everybody want to make it out like, oh, uh, Jesus was effeminate. They make him look like a hippie in all the movies. He's always talking all soft. Facts don't cause riots and shit. Yeah, Facts man. don't cause an uproar, you know what I mean? Yeah, the scripture said the Lord was kicking over tables, hitting people with a whip. You know what I mean? But when you watch the movies, on the, when they make Jesus movies, they always make Jesus and all the 12 disciples look like homosexuals, man. But they do that on purpose. That's, what, that's their way of blasphemy the Lord. These Hollywood producers, most of them are so-called Jews, and they worship Satan. So when they work, when they make their movies, and if they make a movie about the Lord, they make him look like a homosexual because they hate, they hate, they hate the Lord, and that's why they put him in that light. That's why they draw a picture of the Lord. They give him long hair like a girl, because that, that's their way of blasphemy of the Lord. And then they give him white skin. And then that's even further blasphemy of the Lord. Mm. Right, go ahead. Or if ye receive another spirit which ye have not received, or another gospel which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. So yeah, so y'all by there teaching that uh, that effeminate, love everybody, Jesus, can't we all get along, Jesus? Look, you you just gonna eat missiles, man. You just gonna get destroyed. That's all there is to it. For I suppose I was not with behind the very chiefest apostle, but though I be rude in speech. So yes, we are very rude in speech. Just like the Bible says, we are rude in speech. He going. But though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge. So we might speak rudely, we might speak rough, we might say shit, fucking cunt, but we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna educate, yeah, we say bitch all the time. <laughs> So we're gonna let you know everything you need to know, okay? We're gonna reveal all the mystery. Read that again, man. But though I be rude so, in speech. So we used to bring this scripture out a lot, man. It's good to bring it out again. But though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge. So yeah, we speak rudely, you know what I mean? Because we speak in that, we speak the language of the people. They speak, these people, they, they rude too when they speak. But they get mad when we speak rudely, you know? Bunch of damn hypocrites, keep going. Um, but we have been truly made manifested among you in all things. Yeah, so that means we're gonna we're gonna tell you all things. We're gonna give you 100% truth. I'll go ahead. Oh yeah. I like Philippians. Philippians 1 and... I'm going to start at 26. That your rejoicing may be more abundant in your Hawashai for me by my coming to you again. Only let your conversation be as in becometh the gospel of your Hawashai. That whether yeah, that's I mean, come... Yeah, when you're out talking to people, you man, you're supposed to be talking about the scriptures all the time, man. Mm -hmm. You ain't supposed to be talking about sitting there talk, having like hour long conversations about football and football stats. That's a big waste of time, man. You going? Um, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs that ye stand fast in one spirit with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. What does that say? That means we all have to teach exactly the same thing. Okay, we can't all be like, well, brother, you can believe what you want to believe, and I can believe what I want to believe. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you can believe the uh, virgin birth, but but you know what I'm saying? But I don't have to agree with you. We can disagree, you know? <laughs> no, the scripture don't say that. It said being all one spirit, all in the same mind. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Like, we all, like, ain't nobody in our camp gonna be talking about the Lord's name is Yeshua. You ain't never gonna see that shit. <laughs> so we God all, way. Yeah, we all speak exactly the same thing. Ain't nobody up in our camp gonna be like, uh, when you die, you go to hell, and you go to the underworld. Ain't no, we, none of us are gonna say that. Or Esau is gonna be Oh yeah, East. Esau is gonna be in the kingdom. Ain't nobody saying that shit, man. <laughs> you go to the second 
If there be therefore any consolation of Yahweh Shai, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels of mercy, fulfill ye my joy that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Being of one accord. That means you're all saying the same thing, doing the same thing. Okay, that means, that means if we're all believing in this truth together, that means we're all going to do the work together too. Okay? So if you agree with us, that means you have to do the work with us, okay? Because that's all, that's, we all in the same love, in the same spirit. You can't just be like, okay, I agree with them brothers. I'm, I'm feeling the, the truth, but I'm just going to kick it at home. You know what I'm saying? Go wax right, my right. car. I just can't make it today. I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, so you got to, that, that's part of being in that same mind, man. Because we're not on the same spirit as some, as some people's doing the work and some people ain't doing the work. Motherfuckers, man, that's when they fucked up because they don't come out no more, man. They don't want to come out. Somehow they didn't justify not coming out. I don't understand it. First, okay, uh, first Corinthians, um, one and five that in everything ye are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge. Even as the testimony of Yahweh Shai was confirmed in you. <laughs> Even as the testimony of Yahweh Shai was confirmed in you, so that ye come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai, who shall also confirm you unto the end that ye may be blameless in the day of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Yeah, because we're going to be blameless. Why are we going to be blameless? Not because that we're righteous. Not because the Lord's going to make us blameless, because he is blameless. You know what I'm saying? He, he's going to, he's going to, what? He's going to, he's going to vouch for us. So you can't go wrong, man, having faith with work. Right. You know. Because faith is works. That's right. God is faithful by whom Ye were called unto the fellowship of the of his son Yahweh Shai, our Lord. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai, that ye all speak the same thing. Oh yeah. And that there be no divisions among you. So we all have to speak exactly the same thing. You can't be having no uh, people in your church teaching a different doctrine of what you're teaching. Like I already said, like you can't. We're not gonna have nobody in our camp teaching that there's such thing as hell or that all nations can be saved or any other kind of madness. You know what I mean? We're all gonna teach the same thing. That ye all speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Yeah, so if you don't agree with us, you're not our brothers. You know what I'm saying? We don't like you. We hate you. We, we, you know what I'm saying? We don't even want to see you, man. Keep going. Oh, okay. For it has brother. been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Paul, that there are contentions among you. Now this I say that every one of you said, I am of Paul, and I of Apollos, and I of Cephas, and I of Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? He said, <laughs> He said, was Paul crucified for you? <laughs> That's funny, man. Yeah, right. He's being, hey, yeah, that's yeah. a joke. He's actually being a joke. He's yeah. being sarcastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there's only one Lord, man. Okay. So he's the head. And he, he laid down where the truth was, man. And the truth is right here, right here in these scriptures, man. If you if you going contrary to what these scriptures say, I mean, if you can step back. I got a scripture for that. It's a scripture that says, "Depart from the wicked, depart from evil." So we. I'll oh, go ahead. Second Corinthians six. Man, I can read all this stuff. Go ahead. <laughs> For real. But 
the, the point is down in 14, though. Go ahead, just read it. Um, 2 Corinthians 6, you want me to start talking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2 Corinthians 6. We did as workers together with him beseech you also that he received not the grace of the Most High in vain. For he said, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Yeah, we get real close to that day of salvation. Cause ain't none of us saved yet, man. You're still here, you're not saved yet. You don't get saved when that destruction comes. While you see everyone else get destroyed and you get saved, that's being saved. Keep going. Giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. Yeah, cause, right, cause we can't, you can't, we we gave you the truth. You know what I'm saying? You can't say we didn't try to teach you. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. We've been out here doing our fourth minute. Yeah, it's you been know? a minute. Not to boast or nothing. But. but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of the Most High, in much patience, in affliction, in necessities, in distress, in stripes, in imprisonment, because a lot of brothers go to jail for this truth. Yeah, a lot, you see a lot of people get locked up for teaching the Bible. I, I got arrested before teaching the Bible. Me too. C cursed oh, out. Yeah, both of oh, them. yeah, you, no, you went to jail. Yeah, I went too, yeah. I was acting like, yeah, he had, he got locked up. He actually, they put a cut over because that fake Jew. That, that, that was that yeah, same day. That's rat Jew, right. Yeah, so, and so that's something you got to deal with. Yeah. Shit, we do it again. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In stripes in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings, in fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by, by long suffering. So by now, what is knowledge, man? I did be a goddamn retard. Huh. A jokester. Cause you got a lot of people that call themselves a uh, Christian or something. They say they go to church, but they don't never study though. They be like, how come you always go and talk about the Greek, Greek and the Hebrew? They be like, all I need is the English Bible. You like, gotta get deep. Yeah, like, well, they can't comprehend, man. I mean, that's what I'm saying, because they ain't got no knowledge, man. The scripture said my people is destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You're supposed to be educated yourself. You know what I'm because saying? they have rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That's right. You're supposed to be learning how to speak Hebrew, Latin, all that, man. Try to. You can't learn it all, but... You know, you're supposed, to. you're supposed to be studying. Make That's the effort. point. That's right. It's That's the right. effort that counts. That's right. Yep. By pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of the Most High, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. <laughs> By honor and, so, and so, dishonor. That tells you the most high controls everything. Everything. It's always, it's always telling you. Everything. Actually, to be honest with you, um, it's actually that scripture that Dave uses to justify him stealing from his people. And, you know what I'm saying? And doing what he does because by the left hand and the right hand. You know what I'm saying? Because he's looking at it like most high said, we can just go out from the left hand side and do like these devils. Nah, man. See, he's totally ignoring what it really means. He's misleading his damn self, but that's on him. But he loves that shit. Um, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true. Yeah, because that, yeah, because that's talk. Yeah, because you gotta, you gotta be like, you know, like a bullshit. You gotta, you gotta come. You gotta bullshit them. Man. Cause they ain't gonna get the truth, man. What you gonna do? Okay, you get all so upset because they didn't get it. The title is in my name right now. As unknown and yet well known, as dying. Oh no, go ahead. As dying, and behold, we live as chastened and not killed. As sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. As poor, yet making many rich. Yeah, that 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 yeah, because we are. <laughs> Read that part again. That's a good. That's a, I like that, man. Oh, um, as sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. So we're sorrowful because we're living in a damn Satan's kingdom, and this world's all fucked up. Shit's all polluted. All the food you eat is genetically modified. 
Shit, the pussy's all messed up, can't get no clean pussy. No clean. So, I mean, this place is a fucked up place to live, baby. No fresh all your baby's mamas are hoes. You know what I'm saying? But, uh. <laughs> it's always sorrowful. But, read that again. That's sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. But we always rejoice on why? Because we got his truth. That's why. We know we're an Israelite. We know that Yahweh Shah is the truth. Yet making many rich as having nothing and yet possessing all things. O ye Corinthians. Yeah, we having this knowledge means you possess all things. Like uh, Matthew the sixth chapter says, it says to lay up your treasures in heaven where uh, moth and dust doth not corrupt. So that's why you're supposed to lay your treasures in heaven. Okay. That's some spiritual treasures. Oh, go ahead. O ye Corinthians, our mouth is open unto you, our heart is enlarged. Damn, bro. No you must be prostitutes. Ye are not straightened in us, but ye are straightened in your own bowels. Now for a recompense in the same, I speak as unto my children. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We say that all the time. Like we like we're talking to children, because you gotta talk to Jake like he's a child. Actually, we are children. You know what I'm saying? We, we're all children. Keep going. I see a lot of hoes out here tonight, man. They really look like prostitutes, too. Man. They look like an actual prostitute. That's nice. They probably are prostitutes. For now, for a recompense in the same, I speak as unto my children. Be ye also enlarged. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Yeah, so you ain't supposed, we ain't supposed to be kicking it with heathens and like, if so, one of your friends says he's a Buddhist, you're not supposed to go hang out with him. If you know one of your friends is like a Muslim, he, you know, he's down with Farrakhan and them. Cursing out. Yeah, yeah, cur yeah curses, curse that fool out, man. We're gonna hope he ain't gonna leave anyway, so we can keep throwing the scriptures at him. You know how people too, they try to, they come in the truth, and then they still think they can still kick it in the hood, and still kick it with the homies, and being in the truth at the same time. They're trying to straddle both worlds. Yeah, water and oil don't mix. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? With none. That's how much. None. In what communion, communion have light with darkness? Yeah, so who the hell am I look, I'm going to look like hanging out with Muslims saying it's okay. I don't, we, you, you can be a, the actual Satanists walk down the street. People walk down the street dressed up like devil worshipers. And then everybody's cool with it. They say, well, it's America. <laughs> it's the land of the free, buddy. If you don't like it, leave. That's what they tell you. Yeah. Well, if you don't like it, leave. That's Get out. That's what they tell you. You know? yeah. Bunch of man, this fucking land of the heathens, we man. Ain't no, we ain't got no problem with a bunch of atheist homosexuals. Yeah, a bunch of damn atheists and agnostic faggots. Why am I hanging? Yeah, if I know someone that's an agnostic, I'm not gonna be hanging out with that person. What kind of shit you gonna have to talk about with somebody like that? Because really, if you out hanging out with people in the hood, your old homies out there doing hood shit, Lord knows what hood shit is. I bet if you all be out there in the hood acting a fool, that means you're not even in the truth. That's what that means. In what part has Christ with Belial? Or what part has he that believeth with an infidel? Yeah, because yeah, all your, all your old friends, all your old friends from the neighborhood, they're a bunch of devils. You're not even supposed to hang around them. You're supposed to go near them. You're not supposed to talk to them. You're supposed to, I mean, you can talk, you can hit them with the scripture, teach them the truth, but they reject the truth. You're supposed to depart from them. The scriptures say depart from evil. It don't go, it don't go say hang out with evil and uh, uh, go to the barbecue with all the wicked. It don't say that. That's what we're trying to tell some of the brothers, man. Like I mentioned, Dave, Dave, we're talking to you too, buddy. Depart from evil. You can't straddle both motherfucking worlds, buddy. Yeah, man. You can't play with them both. Especially when you hang around with the same people. <laughs> you keep hitting them with scriptures. And they ain't getting it. 
and finding yourself getting in more and more trouble and ain't learning me nothing. And what agreement hath the temple of the Most High with idols? For ye are the temple of the living power. As the Most High hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their power, and they shall be my people. That's talking about the Israelites. Hmm. Oh, God.